This begins with silence, a dim hanger, a pedestal, a shape hidden beneath the cloth. Then Christian von Koenigsegg steps forward and speaks just eight words. When power weighs nothing, empires collapse overnight. Our V8 engine feels like it just comes, it's an otherworldly experience, I would say. Moments later, the cloth drops. Not a concept, not a prototype. A real motor, smaller than a carry-on, more powerful than Tesla's entire rear drive unit. It's called dark matter, and it wasn't just designed to compete, it was built to end dominance. We came up with the dark matter, the bigger brother of the Quark e-motor, the world's most torque and power dense e-motor. From Engelholm, Sweden, a new war for electric supremacy has begun. And if this machine delivers what it promises, Tesla's empire may already be trembling. The unveiling. And today we're gonna to present the production version. No flashy music, no stage smoke, just a plain metal chair, a spotlight, and a folded cloth. Journalists arrived expecting a status update on Koenigsegg's four-seat hybrid, the Gamera. What they got was something else entirely. The email said, production update. That was it. But when Christian von Koenigsegg walked onto the platform in Engelholm, he wasn't holding papers or slides. He was keeping silent. Then he said it, eight words. When power weighs nothing, empires collapse overnight. And with that, he unveiled a motor no larger than a backpack. No dramatic gestures, just the quiet sound of jaws hitting the floor. The name, Dark Matter. The numbers, 800 horsepower, 1250 Newton meters of torque, 39 kilograms. That's not a motor, that's a threat. It sat on an aluminum pedestal, glowing under overhead LEDs like a relic from the future. Reporters walked up to it in disbelief, some lifting it with both hands just to confirm the weight. You could see it click in real time. This wasn't just lighter. This was impossible. In that moment, no one thought about Tesla. But the clock had started ticking. The industry had just witnessed a new benchmark, and nobody, not even Elon Musk, saw it coming. What is dark matter? At first glance, it looks unassuming. No wires spilling out, no heat shielding, just a dense, dark ring, quiet, self-contained, and cold to the touch. But inside this forged carbon shell lies something that could destabilize the EV hierarchy. Dark matter isn't just powerful, it's engineered to be absolute. 800 horsepower, 1250 Newton meters, 850 volts, and it spins to 8,500 RPM, all of that inside a single unit that weighs less than the average suitcase. It's about 400 Newton meters. Uh, it's about 50 kilograms. It's got maybe uh, 25, 30 kilograms of, of iron in it. Now, I'll compare that to a, an axial flux machine. Here's a, a motor of similar sort of torque. Uh, you can see it's similar-ish in diameter, but you'll notice very quickly, it's only about a sixth of the length, so huge space saving, about four times the torque density. But numbers aren't the whole story. What makes dark matter dangerous is what it replaces. Traditional electric drivetrains are a heavy stack of parts, motor, inverter, gearbox, all bolted together like bricks. Koenigsegg eliminated the seams. Everything, motor, transmission, inverter, is folded into one seamless radial flux design. It's compact, it's brutally efficient, and it's modular. It reduces the Jamera's drivetrain mass by 61 kilograms. That frees up battery space, shifts the center of gravity, and even boosts lateral grip. Every kilo saved creates a ripple. Faster acceleration, sharper turns, longer range. Tesla built its advantage on refining electric drive systems. Koenigsegg's move isn't refinement, it's reinvention. In that quiet Swedish hangar, the message was unmistakable. The electric car, as we know it, just got rewritten. The Tesla comparison. Once the specs went public, comparisons became unavoidable. Analysts didn't wait for Koenigsegg to make a statement. They did the math themselves. Tesla's rear drive unit in the Model S Plaid weighs about 138 kilograms. 
It produces roughly 330 kilowatts. Koenigsegg's dark matter, just 39 kilograms, and it pushes out 600 kilowatts. That's nearly four times the power density. On paper, it doesn't just edge past Tesla, it bulldozes it. If that motor were installed in a mass market sedan, it could cut battery size by 15% while matching the same 060 performance. Less weight, less cost, fewer raw materials. And here's the part that stings. Tesla's biggest financial burden isn't motors, it's batteries. Batteries account for more than 40% of the total vehicle cost. If Koenigsegg's motor allows automakers to use smaller battery packs without sacrificing performance, Tesla's economy of scale becomes a liability. It's no wonder the phrase, Tesla will shut down because of this, began flooding forums within an hour. Elon Musk may have been in the air when it all broke, but by the time he landed, the storm was everywhere. Koenigsegg didn't just announce a motor, they announced a pressure point, one that hits Tesla exactly where it's most vulnerable. Simplicity as a weapon. It's easy to get distracted by numbers, horsepower, voltage, torque. But the real danger to Tesla isn't just performance, it's how Koenigsegg achieved it. Most electric vehicles are burdened by complexity. Motors need inverters, gearboxes need housings, cooling systems need space, and each part adds mass. Koenigsegg skipped the clutter. Dark matter is a single structure. No external gearbox, no separate inverter, no maze of bolts and brackets. Everything is contained within one forged carbon ring. The result? Fewer parts, fewer points of failure, faster assembly, lower maintenance. In the Jumeirah, removing the old drive unit and installing dark matter sliced 61 kilograms from the drivetrain. That's the equivalent of deleting an adult passenger, except this passenger is dead weight that never pays for fuel. And every kilogram removed has a multiplier effect. Less weight means smaller brakes, lighter suspension, leaner structural reinforcement. In simulation laps at Circuit de Barcelona, just that shift in the center of gravity improved lateral grip by 3%. It's not just about going faster, it's about doing more with less. Koenigsegg didn't just simplify the drivetrain, they simplified the business model behind it. Tesla made electric cars practical. Koenigsegg is making them lean, modular, and unignorable. The physics edge. Where others followed convention, Koenigsegg flipped the blueprint. Dark matter isn't just efficient, it's based on a motor layout no major automaker dared to scale. While mainstream brands rely on three-phase radial designs, Koenigsegg doubled the phase count and fused radial and axial concepts into something new. Radial flux. More phases mean more control, less heat, better efficiency. Each coil in the motor experiences shorter dwell time, keeping copper temperatures nearly 10 degrees C's cooler during full power. That eliminates the need for bulky liquid cooling jackets and saves another 6 kilograms. Even the cooling system is genius. The forged carbon case is load-bearing and coolant flows through internal ribs. No external hoses, no fragile clamps. And the inverter? It's embedded. The six-phase David module flattens ripple current into almost pure DC. Peak efficiency hits 96.2%. That means less energy lost, less heat to manage, and more power delivered where it matters, at the wheels. This isn't a marginal gain. This is re-engineering the electromagnetic core of EVs. In the Jumeirah, a 14 kilo battery and dark matter combo rivals Tesla's 99 kilo plaid setup. Physics doesn't lie. Lighter motors change everything, not just performance, but what an EV can even be. Tesla was built around batteries. Koenigsegg built beyond them. Licensing, not manufacturing. Christian von Koenigsegg never wanted to become the next Tesla. That was never the goal. Instead, he's playing a different game, one where he doesn't have to build millions of cars to change the industry. At the end of the Dark Matter presentation, a single slide flashed. License the tech, seed partners, scale twin motor layout. No sales pitch, no retail projections, just a quiet declaration. We don't need to compete with Tesla. We just need to supply their rivals. And that's where things get dangerous for Tesla. Koenigsegg isn't trying to win the EV war by selling cars. 
They're selling the weapon, the motor, the inverter, the whole propulsion core wrapped in carbon and ready to drop into anything from motorcycles to delivery vans. The licensing model isn't based on units sold. It's based on kilowatt hours delivered. The more efficient a car becomes, the lower the fee per vehicle. That means Koenigsegg is financially aligned with every automaker that wants to shrink batteries, not grow them. And that's a direct threat to Tesla's vertically integrated business. Tesla profits by owning the entire stack. Koenigsegg profits by giving others the one part Tesla doesn't want to share. The thing that moves the car, torque, for rent. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. The battery threat. For years, batteries have been Tesla's fortress. Massive packs, deep vertical integration, in-house cell chemistry. But Koenigsegg just found a way to walk around that fortress. Because when you cut drivetrain weight in half, you don't need 100 kilometers to match performance. The Jamera does it with just 14. It's not magic, it's physics. A lighter motor means a smaller pack. A smaller pack means lower cost, fewer raw materials, and less degradation over time. That directly undermines Tesla's biggest advantage, scale. Tesla's factories are optimized for volume, cells, packs, and modules. But if vehicles start needing 30 dot less battery to achieve the same range and speed, Tesla's gigafactories turn into oversized, underused infrastructure. That's capital sitting idle. And then there's lithium. At current prices, every kilogram counts. Drop a pack from 99 to 70 kilodollars, and you're saving not just money, but exposure to volatile nickel and cobalt markets. It also changes resale dynamics. Smaller, less stressed packs degrade more slowly, improving used vehicle values, an area where Tesla has quietly struggled. Koenigsegg's path doesn't just reduce battery reliance, it turns battery size into a liability. That's the part investors are watching now. Because if energy density is no longer king, Tesla's entire valuation model starts to wobble. Regulation and loopholes. Automotive revolutions don't just happen in garages, they happen in policy rooms. And Koenigsegg knows that. While Tesla bet everything on battery electric vehicles, Koenigsegg aimed for the regulatory blind spots. Dark matter doesn't just power EVs. It powers hybrids that run on e-methanol, synthetic fuel made from renewable sources. Under the new EU language, hybrids burning carbon-neutral fuels may qualify as zero-emission vehicles, as long as their life cycle emissions stay under strict limits. The Jamera already passes that test. It emits just 2 grams of CO2 per kilometer, below the proposed 5-gram threshold. That means Koenigsegg's hybrids could receive the same credits and regulatory treatment as Tesla's, but without the battery weight or the supercharger dependency. And here's where it gets sharp. Battery-only cars face mounting rules, carbon disclosure, critical mineral reporting, recycling quotas. But hybrids using smaller packs like those powered by dark matter could bypass most of them. Even California's updated ZEV credit system gives extra weight to cars with bi-directional charging and minimal infrastructure upgrades. Koenigsegg's six-phase energy protocol fits that bill. So while Tesla fights to justify its vast charging networks and material sourcing, Koenigsegg simply sidesteps the minefield. One is building around regulation. The other is slipping through it. Supply chain advantage. In the EV arms race, most eyes focus on performance or range, but Koenigsegg plays on a quieter battlefield. Logistics. While Tesla hauls lithium across oceans and molds gigacastings with towering dye machines, Koenigsegg does something different. It shrinks. It localizes. Dark matter isn't built in mega factories. It's assembled with aerospace-grade suppliers in Northern Europe, most within a thousand kilometers of each other. Carbon fiber shells are cured in old wind turbine presses. Magnets are refined from Finnish industrial waste, bypassing Chinese quotas. And because the motor is just 39 kilograms, 10 of them can fit on a single pallet. That's 800 horsepower per forklift lift. Compare that to Tesla's rear drive unit, over 130 kilos each, two per crate. Multiply across a global supply chain, and the difference is staggering. When the Red Sea shipping lane was disrupted in 2024, Tesla rerouted parts via Cape Town. Koenigsegg, no delays. 
Even their sodium ion battery partner operates in Norway. No lithium, no nickel, just low cost, low heat cells fit for hybrids. Koenigsegg's strategy isn't to outscale Tesla. It's to sidestep the weight, distance, and delay that come with it. And in supply chain chess, agility beats size. Always, legacy disrupted. Every industry has blind spots. Tesla's? Wait, they chased range with big batteries, masked mass with speed, covered complexity in code. Koenigsegg brought something else, physics. Dark matter doesn't just beat Tesla's motors, it redefines the drivetrain. It turns torque into a plug-and-play commodity, something any brand can license. And that's the danger. Tesla doesn't face another car. They face a new format. Smaller, lighter, cheaper, easier to ship, ready for regulation. And Tesla can't counter it by adding more. More batteries? Heavier. More cells? More cost. Koenigsegg wins by trimming the fat. Less heat, less weight, less noise, less infrastructure. If major automakers adopt this and bypass charging networks, Tesla's vertical model bends. Because when torque becomes a part, brand magic dissolves. The motor loses mystique, and the company that once did everything now watches rivals win with less. That's not innovation lost, that's the mirror cracking. This isn't just about a motor, it's about a shift. Christian von Koenigsegg didn't promise disruption, he built it, compacted it, and spun it up on a dyno. Tesla still leads in software, scale, and brand. But the floor is moving beneath them. If smaller, smarter, and lighter is the new law of motion, dark matter isn't just a threat. It's a future being licensed out one torque curve at a time. So what happens now? Will Tesla pivot or dig deeper into its battery fortress? Drop your thoughts below and subscribe because the real electric war may have just begun.